There's no way this can be right. Hey, it's Lori. Call me back as soon as possible. You won't believe the tip I just got. <sighs> Mr. Stanton, can I call you Steve? Yeah. Okay. Let me start off by saying thank you for doing this interview. Um, I'm going to record it. Is that okay? That's fine. Tell me about yourself. Well, I've been the uh, city manager of Largo for the past uh, 14 years. Uh, I'm married. Well, I was. And I've got uh, a teenage son. Let's just get right to the point. Tell me about your plans of becoming a woman. Uh, well, I've been going through some hor hormone therapy for the past couple months and uh, had some counseling. And I've been. Uh, cross-dressing in Orlando and Atlanta and Chicago. So, so. When's this change going to happen? Um, probably around June of this year. And what are you going to say to the co-workers? I mean, do you think it's going to have any effect on them? Any criticisms? I mean, what are you going to say to people that are not okay with this? Obviously, I'm um, Sure, there will be some people that don't think I can continue to serve them as their city manager, but I don't think it'll affect my job at all. The only thing I ask is, you're going, you're actually going to print this, right? I'm going to print everything you just said. None of this is off the record None at all. None of this is off the record at all. I just need a, I just need a little time. Because I want to tell my kid before it's the front page news. And, um, can you give me a day? I can give you a day, but I have to talk to my editor first. So you don't have a guarantee then? I don't have a guarantee. Just let me speak to my editor first and I'll get back to you. How many people know about this? Well, the commission already knows. Your boss knows, the mayor knows. Anyone outside of that circle that they know? Not it? yet. Okay. My anonymous source, me, and the editor. Well, like I said, just give me a day if you can. I gotta speak to my editor. All right. I can't make any promises. Thanks. I think we should run it. Think about it. A public figure getting a sex change operation, it's huge. I know, I know, but maybe we should let him spill the beans. I mean, it's not a life and death situation. Lori, it's huge. It's a huge headline. Think about it. Front page, St. Pete Times, your name on the byline. It's perfect. Well, that's my point. Is it really news? I mean, we're just outing his private life. This is his private life. His family's going to be affected by this. I don't know if outing is the correct term to use. This is a public figure having a sex operation to end his manhood. It's definitely news and it's public interest. I know, I'm just ethically conflicted by this whole issue. Um, it's not the easy assignment that you've ever had, I'll grant you that. However, it's our story and we're going to break it and you're going to do a great job. Can we just give him a day to tell his son, at least? Call him, tell him he has one day and then we're going to run it. Okay. Hey buddy, how's it going? Good. Now let me turn this off for you. I, I got something important to say. I don't know how to say this. Yeah, and I know you're a woman.
empty bottle do? Now I don't blame him cause he run and hid But the meanest thing that my daddy ever did Was before he left he went and named me Sue I'm Susan 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 I'm a woman We must have thought that it was quite a joke and I got a lot of laughs from a lot of folks Seems I had to fight my whole life through Some gal would giggle and I'd turn red And some guy would laugh and I'd bust his head I'll tell you, life ain't easy for a boy named Sue But I grew up quick and I grew up mean My fist got hard, my wits got keen I roamed from town to town to hide my shame But I made me a vow to the moon and stars I'd search the honky-tonks and bars And kill that man that give me that awful name Gatlinburg in mid-July and I just hit town and my throat was dry. Thought I'd stop and have myself a brew. At an old saloon on a street of mud and there at a table dealing stud said the dirty mangy dog had named me Sue. Well, I knew that snake was my own sweet dad from a worn-out picture that my mother had. Knew that scar on his cheek and his evil eye. He was big and bent and gray and old. My name is Sue. How do you do? Now you're gonna die. Well, I hit him hard right between the eyes, and he went down. But to my surprise, come up with a knife and cut off a piece of my ear. Then I busted a chair right across his teeth, and we crashed through the walls and into the street, kicking and a gouging in the mud and the blood and the beer. Well, I tell you, I fought tougher men. But I really can't remember when He kicked like a mule and he bit like a crocodile I heard him laughing and I heard him cuss And he reached for his gun but I pulled mine first He stood there looking at me and I saw him smile And he said, son, this world is rough And if a man's gonna make it, he's gotta be tough And I knew I 